Welcome to Urban Data Modeler tutorial. In this session, I'll be discussing about the forward engineering option. Uh, this option is only available in uh, the physical model and it's, it's actually grayed out in uh, the logical model. So I go switch to the physical model, I click the forward engineering and before going into detail of how we can use these options to control the kind of SQL that Elvin generates for us, let me do a quick preview. Uh, you can see here that uh, it's actually using the domains that I have created as the data types here and it's also using an alter script uh, to add the primary key and if I go further down it's creating some uh, default Irwin generated uh, triggers uh, which uh, I don't want in my script so what I do here is I'll first go here uh, to the schema and I remove the user defined type so if I go here um, in the preview before let me go back and show you how it differs if I if that option is selected in it's it's creating a data type of the name of the domains that I have used so I didn't want that so if I remove this option and that's gone but in my script it's still using the domain as a data type so I'll go to the column and I'll remove user data type and when I check again okay it's using the proper data type and next thing I want to do is include this in the create statement instead of alter for that what I do is I go to referential integrity and where it says primary key I say create instead of alter and when I do preview it has uh, done that and lastly I want to remove this uh, custom uh, Irwin generated uh, trigger so I go to the trigger and I uncheck that option and that's gone so I am getting a very simple script uh, which I'm satisfied with uh, I can either take the script copy paste it in the SQL editor and then generate the required objects or I can as well create them from here using the generate option I provide the connection uh, settings here to the database and uh, while creating this physical model I picked SQL Server that's why it's already in here and uh, I connect to the required database I want and the moment I say connect um, it will go and create the required objects in there uh, so there are some other features uh, for example I add a new table or probably I have modified one table and I want the forward engineering uh, option to generate only script for that particular uh, object so I can use the filter here and I can filter on the objects that I want for which I want to see this script uh, so for in this case I selected course and I do a preview and I get the script for that particular this thing particular object sorry uh, so this is the default schema generation options and every time you want to do this it's, it's you can do that or since you have done uh, some changes um, like you don't want the user data type you don't want the default of generated uh, trigger um, what you can do is you can save these settings and you can save these settings in a particular uh, place so this is preferred forward engineering settings and I save them so what I can do is I can use the same settings across different models so if in future if I create a new model and I'm trying to do the forward engineering for that uh, instead of changing these options again I can basically go to open browse to that location bring that back and then use the preview uh, and it will generate uh, the SQL script the way I wanted it uh, with this uh, session I conclude uh, the tutorial on Irwin forward engineering uh, feature uh, thanks a lot for watching